Hello and welcome back to Dungeon Crawl Stone Soup. Alright, it's Larry, the gargoyle fighter of Chabriados, and we are in the snake pit. Okay. And I think we are gonna try one more level here. This character is working out quite well so far. Hmm. Last time we did um, dungeon level 13 and 14, we learned some new spells, um, and did the first two levels here in the snake pit. Things are getting quite castable. Actually, necromancy should be trained. That's. Um, Yeah, we can turn off spell casting for now. We have enough spell levels and no hunger. Um, <clears throat> let's get necromancy up a little bit at least. Mm -hmm. So we have javelins. We have stone arrow. Magic dart. Oh. Mm. We can even spit poison. That's probably not going to be Something we do a lot here, but Out the guy who constricted me first, now the mage and the guardian serpent. Oh, mutagenic. Well, it's almost tempting because it might get rid of some of the nasty or bad mutations we have. But cure mutation is a bit safer. Oh, shafted. A key. Well, there's snake pit four, not five, so okay. Um, so we have two, let's use the mouse here a bit. Two sharpshooters. These are rather nasty. They even have a portal projectile. And Agnes. Well, she only looks dangerous, so... And <clears throat> yeah, she's fast, she has a... a, a Lajatang? No, I don't know how to pronounce that. Lajatang! Lajatang, whatever. It's of electrocution, and we are resistant to electricity, so that's fine. I think I want to take one step back and get my repel missiles on, like so. Um, I 
Now I want to face shift to increase my evasion and see if we can't deal with Agnes here. Oh, she confused me. What a wand of confusion, it seems like. That's annoying. Wow, she's quick. She got three zaps in like one turn. Confusion has ended. <clears throat> okay, the face shift is over. Uh, seven potions of curing and constricted and Let's use a curing here. Do we have any clarity? No. Um, how? Okay, that's Agnes. Now we should. Now we should be able to deal with these guys easily. And we did. Okay. Both magma, localized ignite poison. Huh. Very slow. Hmm. Does airstrike do much? No. That's a lot of shooters. Let's step back again. And wait a turn. Here comes a greater Naga. Or Naga warrior. Low and magic here. Oh crap. Vashnia, the elite Marks Naga. That sounds nasty. I don't think I've met this unique before. She's gonna be in fairly new. Extremely dangerous. An elite marks Naga, who leads a skilled team of sharpshooters. Particularly skilled in translocation magic. Oh god. Resistant to poison, can see invisible, very slow, large, can constrict, spit poison, portal projectile, blink away, shroud of glubria, blink allies away, blink other. I feel like running away. Yeah, this, this, I don't think this is going to go very well in our present state. So let's read the scroll of teleportation. Good, 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 good. Okay. Still need to find some upstairs, though. So eat 
something. Rest, good. This shock serpent might be making a lot of noise, which might attract a whole lot of other stuff. Yeah. These guys we can deal with. Oh, that was. That's Rebellion's house. All my javelins up there, yeah. Okay, annoying, but tomahawks will do some work as well. Okay, good, good, good. Um, artifact scale mail. Pizza. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> if you're wondering why it says salmon, that's because you can. You can uh, specify your favorite pizza in the uh, in the config file. And well, salmon isn't my favorite. It's more of an inside joke because <clears throat> well I once ordered a pizza at a uh, at an Italian restaurant and it was a pizza with smoked salmon and um, like um, really good Parmesan cheese and rucola and um, it was a very good pizza. That's the one and yeah, the only time I've ever had a pizza with salmon. And um, I'm quite open and adventurous when it comes to food. Uh, but my brother, who was also at the restaurant, he was absolutely horrified by the thought of pizza with salmon because he's a bit more conservative um, in his eating habits <laughs> so <laughs> and I don't know this is at least 10 years ago it's got to be and he's I think he's still in shock more or less <laughs> Anyway, um, Snake Pit Forest seemed pretty dangerous. Um, so I don't think I want to go back there yet. So let's go back to wondering yeah <clears throat> okay so the auto travel I've never been totally sure of that but auto travel seems to only use staircases that you have tried so it's, things can be faster if you actually try out all the staircases so you know where they lead hey anyway <clears throat> back to our game here um, Recharging, we can leave behind. Um, let's see. Mm, let's see what this broad axe is. <coughs> hmm. Plus nine. It's really nice, and it's one-handed. 
think broad axe is the best one-handed axe in the game. Um, but do we want to spend? Well, you have six levels thanks to cross training. I still kind of prefer the scimitar. I think, well, hmm. the Morning Star has similar properties, but with fire resistant strength, but it's only uh, plus zero, not plus nine. Hmm. No, there's no reason. Dump it. What about this scale mail? Plus three. Vulnerability to fire. But nice boost to int and dex. Let's see, 40, 16, and 48, 14. Um, nope. Um, what do we do next? Anything we should... Control teleport is very nice to have, obviously. Um, amnesia. Airstrike feels... Well, it just doesn't feel very good. I know it works better against um, flying creatures, so it might be worth hanging on to for those cases, but there's the majority of enemies are not flying, as far as I know. Um, All these are pretty nice to have. Stone arrow we will replace at some point, probably with iron shot or poison arrow or something. Tukima's dance seems fun, but I'm not really using it a lot. And we should try out this one a bit more, see how it works. Um, Well, in the swamp, I guess there are several flying things there. So maybe air strike will do some good. Because I think, yeah, the swamp is going to be the next thing we try out here. And, um... Anyway, what can we, um, learn? Well, of the things that is usable right now. I think control teleport, that's absolutely a possible lifesaver. Um, <clears throat> still no blink spell. That is something I really really want with this character but yeah let's learn control teleport here um, there we go just need to check my okay that's good uh, 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 uh. Drop off amnesia. I have two scrolls of blinking. Seriously, I haven't overlooked anything? No. Okay, let's. Yeah, we have what we need for. Even 
1900 gold. Source of clarity, that's, yeah, um, let's do that. Let's get this nice little artifact here. My, we have no amulet at all. Huh. Yeah, clarity and magic resistance. That's a <clears throat> good deal. Not the best of artifacts, but... There we go help with the confusion and various other magic stuff Let's just use some of these unused stairs um, and go to the swamp okay Sorry, I don't know how to get there. What? Swamp should be on layer six. Oh, okay, there's an oak club here. Okay. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to deal with that. Yes. Um. Good. <laughs> and there it is. We are flying, so water's no problem. Um, let's see. You can fly. You can fly. Are you flying right now, or can you fly? Doesn't say. Let's try airstrike here. It doesn't do much. And it's at 60% power, approximately. Necromancy is absolutely high enough. Now well, let's put some <laughs> really spreading out here. But, well, we'll get some point where we start to specialize a bit more. Um, I want some more charms for our control teleport. Swamp seems really doable so far. Almost easy. So and, yeah, not planning on evocations, so uh. Should just oh Hydra okay <clears throat> are Hydras still a problem um, let's face shift and are Hydras flying no shift is really nice <clears throat> I don't know if it does anything more than because it increases evasion by uh, I think as much as much as eight points um, 
see, 22, 14, that's 8 points, yeah. But you momentarily face out as the 12 headed Hydra's attack passes through you. It seems to do more than just. than just. Um, higher evasion. It seems to let you sometimes just completely phase out and uh, <laughs> ignore or yeah ignore attacks completely not sure how that works well um, I actually took a look at the source code here to <laughs> no the phase shift only gives plus 8 to evasion as far as I can tell the kind of strange thing is that this message only occurs in a <clears throat> function which is when the bo a bolt misses the player but, I, but hydras only have bite attacks but I guess I don't know why maybe the as far as the source code is concerned this this function can be used for other things not just uh, strictly bolt things so okay <laughs> not <clears throat> we didn't really learn much from that except that phase shift only increases evasion but well there might be more going on in this bolt misses player function um, I'm not really familiar with the source code of Dungeon Coral Stone Soup to determine really uh, what's going on here. It seems to... Um, I don't know how interesting this is to people. Um, okay, wait, we reached level 18, so we will increase our intelligence. Uh, back to the phase shift uh, investigation here. <laughs> um, so I think I understand a bit better now. I've paused, re I paused recording and a closer look at this function here um, so it seems to first test if the monster hits you based on your evasion without a phase shift and if that fails checks if you repel or deflect the missile or attack I guess yeah and if that fails we get this you momentarily face out and that checks if you get hit based on your dodge or evasion with face shift And finally, if all those uh, attempts to hit you fail, you get hit. Or, uh, I mean, if all... Uh, <laughs> I'm terrible at trying to explain this right now. Um, but if all those tests... Um, you yeah if all those tests fail then you are hit um, and blocking seems to happen in this function as well um, so yeah there Uh, it 
checks if you if you hmm. well I I don't know what's the conclusion here <laughs> um, but it does check several times if the monster misses the player <clears throat> first based on your evasion without face shift applied and if that hits it checks if you can repel or deflect the missile if it's a missile and then it checks if 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 the attack hits you based on your evasion with face shift applied and if that attack fails we get this message you momentarily face out and we are not hit so it, i think <clears throat> the conclusion here is that Face shift does give you an uh, extra uh, chance to to completely dodge an attack. It's still based, yet, yeah, yeah. Of course, it's based on your evasion, so you it's within the limits of your evasion skill but um, it's not purely a plus to evasion as far as I can tell I might be wrong here but that's what it looks like I'm not a programmer per se I uh, I've I've dabbled in programming as a bit of a hobby for well many years actually completely self thought taught haven't studied any programming uh, in any way except online tutorials and books and uh, stuff like that so uh, why have I stopped flying that makes no sense oh they're grasping roots from the shambling mangrove actually made us stop flying hm. didn't know that could happen okay Francis the Duchess of Pandemonium comes into view Francis, Icicle Summon Demon Iron Shot. <clears throat> Would be cool if there was some way to absorb uh, spells or abilities from from monsters. I know there are some roguelikes based on that concept, at least some uh, smaller roguelikes, I think there's been some in the 7 day roguelike competition the if you don't know, the 7 day roguelike competition or challenge is it's a competition where the goal is to make a playable and hopefully also fun and innovative roguelike within uh, seven days, as the name says. <laughs> and I haven't played many of the games in, that people have made in those challenges, but uh, 
have uh, I've listened to like roguelike radio which is a very good po uh, <coughs> podcast about roguelikes obviously highly recommended um, and they have talked about seven day roguelikes quite a lot they usually do usually do a podcast around the time of the competition uh, and also afterwards they, they usually do one where they talk about some of the winning or winning winning well it's considered a win if you submit a game and it's playable I think there's I'll stop rambling about that because we have met Roxanne uh, she has Lehudib's crystal spear which is super nasty spell um, let's go upstairs <laughs> Try this one. Um, ow. But yeah, the reason why I started even talking about roguelikes is that I have heard of, I mean, the seven day roguelikes challenge. Um, I know I heard something about at least one game that was based around the mechanic of you being able to uh, absorb I guess absorb or the abilities of the monsters you kill or take over their body or uh, something like that. I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. It's just. Slightly vague memory, so I don't remember the details. Anyway, there's a spriggan druid. Step away from the forest. Ooh, it's an apocalypse cra uh, ghost crab. Okay. Ghostly flames. Get this dude first, maybe, or the crab. Yeah. There we go. And eat the spriggan. I think I'll just stay away from Roxanne there. Um, yeah. Okay, onward. Swamp 4. Oh, Thorn Hunters are a bit nasty. Um, One gold piece, yay! Yeah, stone arrow is kind. 
kind of not very effective anymore. I think it's another altar to Sif Muna, huh? I think Stone Arrow has what's the what's the expression played out its part? Oops, Hydra. Ow. Face shift. Um, can we drain the Hydra a bit? Yeah, good. Where's this mangrove? Berserk. Uh, let's get some face shift going on here. Okay. We're not flying. That's bad. That makes us. As you can see, your unstable footing causes you to fumble your attack because we are standing in water. Face shift, some stone arrows, and we are good. <clears throat> Nicola, aha. Uh -huh. Well, we are resistant to electricity, but he still looks extremely dangerous. Lightning ball, chain lightning. Hmm. Maybe good use of slouch right away. Well, maybe not. Didn't do much. <laughs> Puff of frost. Okay, there's two Spriggan Riders. Stone arrow st still does some good stuff. Ooh, and we get an embroidered cloak and a pair of artifact gloves. Nice. Just eat this dragon and uh, let's see, our cloak is crap, so this one is better. <laughs> Nice. Our gloves are... Oh yeah, we have the Gauntlets of War, that's right. Well, let's still try on these, and they are crap. Cool. <laughs> yeah, minus three to armor class, while well, minus six compared to the Gauntlets of War. For one pip of cold resistance, uh, whoops. No. Uh. 
Okay, that's swamp four all done. And we are at 45 minutes, but I think I can make this video a little bit longer and we're gonna try out swamp five here. Okay. The problem with Sprig and Druids is this Awaken Forest stuff, I think. Yeah, that makes all the trees around us start attacking us. Um, that's quite nasty. Druid's Call, uh, that recalls woodland creatures from, from elsewhere on the level. Okay, so I think I want to go upstairs, kill these guys. Check these stairs, find a different staircase, and see what we have here. Okay. We have lots of magic mapping, we have two scrolls. And one in that shop. This looks a bit like the ending where there's just a whole lot of swamp dragons and hydras. Some hogs. So let's do this. Try the third downstair key. Uh, face shift. I really like this face shift. Face shift spell. Yeah. Hmm. We also have animate skeleton, let's not forget about that. And what are we training? I think our armor is high enough. Let's get long blades a little higher. Um, charms is more than enough. So we can keep spell casting on. little bit into invocations just want to get step from time a little more reliable to be surrounded with lots of stuff and the Hydra so let's go here go back down face shift kill Hydra go up rest Skeletons here. Oh, hello, Kirky. Weaver of Myths. No Hydra skeletons. Let's see, Kirky, what's the deal with her? Yeah, okay, yeah. <laughs> Porkulator. She can. 
turn us into a pig. one um, I'll face shift go up kill the Hydra and the pigs Okay, let's um, a lot of enemies. I think I have to go up, um, face shift first. Seven heads. That's fifteen total. <clears throat> Let's get Shroud of Galubria on. Um. some draining here I don't want to be turned into a pig in this situation so I'll keep keep on draining um, Magic. Face shift still active, so that's come on. No, damn. of Galubria will help. The phase shift is has ended. If all goes horrible, we can teleport. Yeah. Ooh. <laughs> it got to twenty heads. Wow. <clears throat> That's the maximum you actually can. The maximum number of heads on a Hydra, except for the the unique Hydra, the Lernian or whatever. Okay, so we got those Hydras and Kirky.
field of druid. Uh, why is this Hydra consumed by bloodlust? Oh, ah, interesting. With its final breath, this brigand druid offers up its power to the beasts of the wild. Which seems to make this Hydra consumed with bloodlust. Consumed by bloodlust, to be precise. Ow. This video is getting pretty long, but I do... Well, I would like to finish Swamp 5. It looks like it's gonna take a while. Yeah, let's spend a scroll of magic mapping here, so we know what we're dealing with. Okay, so this is the okay, so small level. And the rune is going to be somewhere in here, maybe at the bottom here. Um, This place is going to be filled with hydras and swamp dragons and all this stuff. Um, maybe even the Lernean Hydra. Well, we'll we'll find out. Could we? I never remember if these walls can be disintegrated. These ones of fire. Um, let's actually identify a wand of teleportation. Ooh, we'll, ooh, lots of stuff here. Okay, now we know this has five charges, so we won't waste any charges. Let's identify this disintegration wand. Mm. Just go here. What's this? The Staff of Cold. Uh, I really doubt we'll use that. This ring is protection from cold. Ooh, resist mutation. That's gonna be helpful at some point. Mm, let's try to disintegrate. Nope. the main entrance. Reminds me of the 
kind of um, branch ending where I've met the Lernaean Hydra before. But I might be wrong. That one is quite nasty. 27 headed Hydra. That's the 27-headed Lernian Hydra. It's 
still it <clears throat> it moves faster in the water. Literally no AC and its evasion is negligible. So it's not that hard to kill, but it can hit pretty hard. It has 27 heads, each head does up to 18 damage for a total of 486 at the most. Average seems to be 260, so it Technically, can kill me in one hit. <laughs> um, but high AC should help. But but hmm, not sure if the Hydra has seen me. Oh, we 
careful here. I'll end this on a cliffhanger. Sorry about that, but um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yes, I will do that. So thank you for watching, and I hope you'll join me again next time to see if we can deal with this nasty guy. Okay, goodbye.